Wonderful technology today. This is primarily for my year nine class and my year 10 class. We're working on our handy box. Here is my handy box just here. We will be working on our hinges. Uh, so today, watch this video, you will get a bit of pre-knowledge about how to set up our hinges on our box. But first I want to do a big shout out to my year 9 class and my year 10 class, uh, particularly Laura, Matt, Reese, who have been helping me in my year 10 class get these videos together. Also my year 9 class that have been whinging at me to make this video the last couple of weeks. Lachlan, Andy, Demir, uh, Cameron, Ashton, you know, you've all been whinging at me to get this video done. So here it is. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, sit back and hope this is So when you've got your box ready to go, one of the first measurements that you need to do is you need to have 40 millimeters from the end of your box, okay, to where your hinge then starts. So you've got to have that 40 millimeters. So I'm going to go out and mark that. So I've made that mark there. Now all I need to do is you can measure out your mark, your distance of your hinge, but what time sometime is good is just to line that up with your pencil line there and to mark that out. Pencil mark there. And I'd have to have a nice sharp pencil. I need that to be nice and sharp so my lines are nice and crisp. And then I'm just gonna mark that other side just there. Now it's quite light. You can't see that very well. So that's where this comes in handy. Putting my pencil on that mark there and across and the same over here as well. Putting on the pencil mark and then putting a line across. You also need to have that going down this side here. So you've also got to have the pencil mark going down the side there. That's quite easy to do. Just line, line it up with the top here and just putting a small mark just down that side there. That's probably a little bit long, but it doesn't really matter. We can sand that off later, just like that. So it goes all the way around on the top and down the side there. So the next measurement you need to do is you need to have eight millimeters. You need to have eight millimeters. It is eight millimeters from this part here to the side of the hinge there. So along there, eight millimeters, I need to set up my my marking gauge okay so I need to have that set up at eight millimeters so all I'm going to do is I'm going to undo that a little bit I'm then going to get my rule okay and I'm going to mark that from that hinge along there I'm going to mark that eight millimeters now I'm going to get it close okay and then I'm just going to do that up a little bit I'm then going to check it and as you may or may not be able to see, it's at about seven and a half. So all I'm gonna do is just tap it lightly on the bench. I'm now a little bit more. So I just keep tapping that until I'm at the right. Once I've done that, I can then tighten that up, check it again, and I'm perfect on eight millimeters. Now you probably can't see that very well, but it's right on eight millimeters. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to make this line because that pin will just make a little bit of a gouge in that line. So I need to run that along in between those two pencil lines. So all I'm going to do is put that on the side here like this and I'm going to start that pin right on. I'm just going to stand up. And I'm just going to put a little mark like that. Now you can't see anything there until I get my pencil. And I actually put that in that little groove that I just made. And you can see that there perfectly. Now, it's always a good idea to get two to leave this one for your eight millimeters. Now I have a second one here that I'm going to make one and a half millimeters. Now, instead of trying to measure one and a half millimeters, it's really hard. I'm actually just gonna put the hinge straight down on there like that. And I'm gonna put that pin right up to that point there. So I'm gonna undo that, push that up. Get that pretty close, okay? Then I'm gonna tighten that off, and then I'm going to keep checking it, so until it's perfect, and I'm just gonna tap that on the table, and I have that spot on. All right, so I've set it up to 1.5 millimeters, now I'm just gonna describe my line. 
You want to do that nice and carefully, and then I can put my pencil line in there. And now you can see that I have marked that all out. It's ready to be chiseled out. because our box is a little bit too big to fit in our vise. Um, so I have clamped that down using a piece of scrap along the top and just an F clamp. Now, you can do that. It's important to, to hold this down so that it doesn't move around when we're using our chisel. Isn't that right, Sean? Now, I've gone through and I've selected my chisel. It's always good to select your chisel. Always choose one that no one's sort of tampered with and it's as sharp as you can find. Uh, just don't go and choose one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it nice and low in my hand. Okay, I'm holding it nice and low and I'm going to sit it right on that pencil line just there. Nice and sharp and then I'm going to give it a nice quick blow. You can see the camera is a little bit. A couple of little blows there, and then I'm going to set it on this side as well. Now, if you, you can sort of shuffle it like this, and you can walk your chisel, walk your chisel to your line there, spot onto that line, so your chisel is nice, upright, it's not at an angle. Just a couple of lines like that. And then I'm going to lay my chisel over. Just a couple of nice little blows just there. Now, this one you've got to be careful with because it's going into the grain can split quite easily and can split the timber. So I'm going to do it in a couple of blows there. Nice and nice. Right, so I'm going to do this process in a couple of steps here just to show you uh, what you can do. Now, we need to do a series of cuts through here just to get rid of most of the waste, okay? So it's putting it on here. Now, you can't see this very well. So just putting it in there and leaning your chisel over, okay? So you can see the angle side of my chisel there. Angling that over and just giving that a tap there, just like that, and I'll change that. So there we go, I've just changed the view there. Now you can sort of see, you can see my pencil line under there and you can just see me just coming in the angle that I'm doing. see that I've done those there just taken all those pieces off okay now what I'm gonna I've moved the camera I've just come over here I can now put my chisel into here and just wobble that back and forth now I want to make sure that my chisel isn't going downwards like that or upwards like that I need to try and get that square along that point there all I'm gonna do is just wobble it back and forth nice and carefully just moving my chisel back and forth like that until I go all the way back to that cut that's along the back. The last thing we need to do is just test fit that Make sure it's all nice and flush all the way around. Make sure it's sitting nice and easily in that point there. 
which it is, I'm very happy with that. That's our two checkouts done. I've taken a, a video of doing the first one, then I've just done another one there, just taking some close ups of some sizes and that sort of thing of each step that you need to go through and do. Do that, watch the video, pause it, do what you need to do, uh, pause it so you can see the video, the measurements on there, and that sort of stuff, rewind, keep going back and forth. But hopefully, that'll give you a little bit of information on how to do these. The next step after this is to screw some screws in there, so I'll make a video of that, and then to do these checkouts in the top, which is just that little bit harder, but I'll show you a couple of techniques with that, which will make it a little bit easier for you. So do that, this isn't a fun video, but for something that you guys to watch and to be able to use uh, before you try doing the checkouts for your hinges, or while you're doing them, just to give you a few hints as you go along. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Enjoy this. See you guys in class.